My project is called Post-Discipline Literature, Professionalism, and the Crisis in the Humanities. And it is a sociological account of literary study and of contemporary literature after the age of theory. So say from 1980 to the present. The book is divided into two parts. The first part of the book is interested in how schools of professional education increasingly use literature as part of their pedagogical offerings. So for instance, business schools that use literature in order to teach practical leadership ethics, the rise of medical humanities programs in the United States and in the UK, and the flourishing of law and literature programs around the world. All of these, I argue, give us examples of how literature is being used for pedagogical purposes that might seem strange to those of us who primarily work in literature departments. And one of the things I'm interested in exploring is what use literature has been put toward in helping to educate a new generation um, or a new class of techno-bureaucratic individuals. So that's the first half of the project. And then the second half of the book looks at how uh, literature itself, how contemporary literature and its forms have tried to revitalize certain romantic or nostalgic models of literary study to envision a future for literary studies at its moment of crisis. So in that section of the book, I talk about how the contemporary novel looks toward philology, toward comparative philology as a way to understand what literary studies might want to do in the future. I look at the short, short story form and its construction of grammar as something that might be of interest to literary scholars. And finally, I look at the rise of new forms of public intellectual reading and their attempt to bring uh, the kind of literary analysis that's done in literature departments together with judgments of taste for a more general audience. So the hope is that the book will give a kind of very uh, wide-ranging overview of the different purposes to which literature has been put over the past 50 years and some optimistic directions for its future.